morning. I'm Miss Pierce. I'm the first grade teacher here at Baker Elementary. This is Miss Rice. She's our exceptional education teacher. This is my first grade classroom, and we will be doing a lesson on plain figures. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Miss Pierce. For our morning meeting greeting this morning, I want you to give your neighbor a high five and say good morning. Are we ready? Yes. Ready, set, go. Good morning, Miss Rice. Good morning, Miss Pierce. <laughs> Good morning, Xavier. Good morning, Casey. Good morning. All right, have a seat in three, two, one, and zero. Perfect. For our morning meeting share, we are going to say one thing that we're going to do this weekend. So think about it in your brain, one thing that you're going to do, and share that one thing as fast as you can, okay? So one thing Miss Pierce is doing this weekend, I'm going to a birthday party for my cousin, Bryson. Okay. Casey, what's one thing you're going to do this weekend? I'm going to play outside with Lorenzo. Oh, play outside with Lorenzo. Okay. Lorenzo, what are you going to do this weekend? Um, I will go to Chuck E. Cheese with Ivy. Okay. Oh. Xavier, what's one thing you're going to do this weekend? Make sure we're being respectful to friends that are sharing. Xavier, what's one thing you're going to do? Are you going to play outside? Are you going to hang out with Grandma? Are you hang out with Mom? No. Are you going to eat dinner? Are you going to go to sleep? Yes, you are. Okay, we'll come back to Xavier. Essence, what's one thing you're going to do this weekend? Go to Disney World? Oh, my goodness. Okay, Iviana, what's one thing you're doing this weekend? Nothing. Nothing? You're just going to relax at home? Maybe going to the beach. Okay. Okay, that'll be fun. Damari, what's one thing you're going to do this weekend? I'm going to do that because I have a football game. You have a football game? Okay, that's something. That'll be fun. Tia, what's one thing you're going to do? It'll be a good weekend for that. So now, what about you? I'm going over my grandma's house because it's almost my mom's birthday. Your mom's birthday? Wow, tell her we said happy birthday, okay? Jeremiah, what about you? Nothing. I need to go to my grandma's house. Go to your grandma's house? Okay, I'm sure that'll be fun. Isaiah, what's one thing you're going to do? Okay. Okay, that'll be fun. Jada, what's one thing you're going to do? Go to Sweet Frog. I love Sweet Frog. Ryan, what's one thing you're going to do? Play your Xbox. Okay, that's really cool. Miss Rice, what's one thing you're going to do? I am going to see my mom and my sister this week. Oh, can't wait to hear about that on Monday. Thomas, what's one thing you're going to do this weekend? Nothing. Are you just going to relax at home with Mom? Go, go watch TV or something. Okay, well, watching TV isn't too bad. Um, Omari, what's one thing you're going to do? I'm going to surf and then I'm going to a football I'm going to my football game. Okay. And yesterday, when I was at a football my brother's football game, I saw Damari. You I saw, saw Damari. Damari? Very cool. Azan, what about you? I'm going to play outside with my brother at basketball. Okay, you do that a lot. That's like his favorite thing to do. Isaac, what about you? Um, I play football at night. You're going to play football at night? Okay. Kaden, what about you? What's one thing you're going to do this weekend? play with your brother. Okay, that's sweet. All right, guys. So, remember yesterday we started talking about plain shapes? Does anybody remember one of the shapes that we talked about? Yeah. Raise your hand. Essence? Triangle. Triangle. Good job. What was another shape, Omari? We talked about the octagon. The hexagon? I mean, I think. Hexagon. Good job. Isaiah, what was another shape we talked about? 
rectangle, and I think there was one more. Kaden, you remember? Yeah, circle, and there was one more, Tia. Square. Did we say square yet? Yeah. Okay, what about, I'm thinking of a bigger one. Azan? The rectangle and the diamond. Rectangle and diamond. Good job. So, we are going to play our grab bag game. Okay, remember I asked you to put your hand in there yesterday and I told you to pick out a certain shape? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have some friends do that today. And then we're going to play a who am I shape riddle game. Okay? You think y'all are ready? Yeah. Okay, so I have some shapes in my bag, and I'm going to shake them up, and I'm going to have some friends reach their hand in there. Remember, no peeking. What about the people that don't peek? Okay. You mean only the people that did this thing, this thing? Well, I'm going to try to remember who didn't do it yesterday, but if not, remember, we don't get upset if we don't get picked, right? Capiche? All right, so, Brian, I want you to reach in here and pick out a shape that has no sides, and no vertices, no points. You think you can do that? All right, no Let's peeking, see. okay? Let's see if he can do it. It has no sides and no vertices. If you know what that shape is, give me a thumbs up. Everybody. Don't say it, don't say it. Oh. Quickly, it's in there. Feel it? It's in there. Don't be. Is he right? Yes. Which shape is this? A circle. A circle. Good job. All right, Casey, I want you to reach in here and I want you to pick out a square. Can you pick out a square for me? No peeking. Okay. All right, put your hand in there and see if you can find a square. If you think she's going to find it, give me a thumbs up. She's not looking. I got it closed. Did she find it? Yes. Great job. Who can tell me how many sides does a square have, Isaac? Four. Four. How many vertices or points does a square have, Sinai? Four. Four. Great job. All right. Azan, I want you to see if you can find a shape that has three sides and three vertices. You think you can do it? If you know what that shape is, just give me a thumbs up. Let's see if you can do it. No peeking. Did he find it? Good. What is this shape called? What is this shape? Who knows the name of it? Thomas? Triangle. Great job. We'll do one more, and then we'll do our Who Am I shape game. I'm looking for a friend who's sitting crisscross applesauce on their bottom. Iviana, can you find a shape that has six sides? and six vertices. Give me a thumbs up if you know. Ooh, did she find it? Yes. Yes, what is this shape called? Who knows? What is this shape called? Jeremiah, what's this called? Hexagon, great job. All right, guys. Go ahead and sit crisscross on your bottom in your carpet spot. Sit in your carpet spot for me. I'm gonna bring you a dry erase board so that we can play our game. Okay, so I'm going to read a description of a shape and I want you to try to guess what that shape is. I'm gonna ask you to draw it on your board and just hold it to yourself when you know. And when I ask you to hold it up, you're gonna hold it up, okay? So my first one, I have zero sides and zero vertices. I am found on the face of some clocks. What shape am I? Go ahead and draw that shape on your board. Hold it to yourself until I say hold it up. Looking to see who can draw that shape. All right, I think most of us got it. Go ahead and show me your board. What shape was that? Circle. Circle. Good job. That was a circle. The next one. Right, clear your board. You need a marker? Okay, I'll grab you a marker. There you go. All right, the next one. I have three sides and three vertices. 
I am the shape of a pizza slice. What shape am I? Go ahead and draw that shape on your board and hold it to yourself until Miss Pierce is ready because I want to give everybody time to think. Jeremiah, eyes on your own board, baby. Just do the best you can, Lorenzo. You can look around our room. All right, go ahead and show me your board. Awesome. What shape was that? A triangle. triangle. Great job. Are we ready for the next one? Yes. All right, listen. I have four sides. All of my sides are equal in length, and I have four right angles. Okay, so I have four sides. All of my sides are equal in length, and I have four right angles. If you know it, hold it to yourself. Ooh, some friends know. I hope all of my friends know because you've been talking about it all week. All right, show me your board. Perfect. What is the shape? A square. A square. Great job. All right, go ahead and erase that off your board. The next one. Are we ready? This one's. This one might be a little bit hard. Are we ready? I have six sides and six vertices. If you look closely, sometimes you will see my shape on a pencil or a beehive. What shape am I? It has six sides and six vertices. Shh, don't tell me. Ooh, some friends got it. You can look around their room if you see it. All right, give you about ten more seconds to try to draw it. It's up here somewhere if you need help. All right, let me see your board. Let's see. Some friends got it. That one's kind of hard to draw, but what was the name of it? A hexagon. A hexagon. Okay. Are we ready? I'll wait until everyone's catching a bubble. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Damari. All right. The next one. Are we ready? Look at the door to see me. I have four sides and four vertices. What shape am I? Oh, I know this one. Just draw it on your board. You don't have to tell me. Just draw it. Don't get frustrated if it's not perfect. Just try your best. I wrote it. Don't hold it out again. Damari, catch a bubble. Okay, show me your board. I think everybody got that one. What shape was that? A rectangle. A rectangle. All right, good job. Okay, now what we're going to do. All right, Miss Pierce is up here. Miss Pierce is up here. Damari. What you're going to do, I'm going to send you to your tables. And I want you to sort your shapes with your table. Okay, so I have a bag for each table. Okay, and you're going to take them out and sort them however you want. You could sort them based on how many sides they have. So you could have no sides and four sides or no sides and three sides. You could have all of your squares in one group, all of your triangles in one group, all of your hexagons in one group. Okay, you could do it based on how many vertices that you have. Okay. So who can repeat to me what we're doing when we go back to our tables? What are we doing with these shapes when we go back? Jada, what are we doing? Sorting. Sorting. Okay. And Ms. Pierce made an anchor chart for you to help you out with the shapes that we have been talking about. So remember, our circles have zero sides and zero vertices. Our triangles have three sides and three vertices. Rectangles have four, squares have four, 
but squares, all of the sides are the same length. Rectangles are not, okay? So they'll have two sides that are usually longer and two sides that are shorter, okay? So when I send you to your table group, I want you to sort them as a team, okay? So make sure that you're working as a team because I'm gonna be walking around dropping marbles in for a fun chest today, okay? And you guys are gonna sort them out. Go have a seat, Mom, 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 Okay, I'll help, I'll help. Isaiah, how are we sorting them? Are you helping? Oh, so tell me a little bit about how you guys sorted your shapes. How did you guys sort them? Scooch up, Miss Casey. All right, scooch up. Scooch on up, scooch on up. How are we sorting? Okay, but how are you sorting up? So it looks like Casey has the circles. Jeremiah, what do you have? What shapes do you have? So you have ones that have four sides. Good job. What do you have, Tia? What shape is that? Rectangles. Good. What do you have, Iviana? Okay, and what's that shape? Hexagon. Hexagon, good. And how many sides does a hexagon have? Six. Six. Great job. What do you have, Miss Casey? Which shape? I got two triangles and three circles. Perfect. You guys did an awesome job. You want to scooch them in the middle and try to sort them a different way this time? Yeah. Try to sort them a different way this time. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our shapes lesson today. Thank you.